Hello YouTube, this is Kevin from My Flight Sim, and I'd like to recreate a video I did about three years ago. So this was the video, I'll put the link description down below, but it's a video I made about three years ago, and it was using Google Earth as scenery for Microsoft Flight Sim X. And throughout this video, I was just amazed at how incredible these graphics were. So now I'm going to try to recreate the same flight using the same path in the new Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. But just a quick look here at this one, if you notice the detail of what Google Earth was, and this is Flight Sim X up in the top right corner. In some areas it's actually superior, especially when you see Tampa International, how default that airport is currently in the 2020 version of Microsoft Flight Sim. It's still good, but uh, it's not a custom airport, it's just the default scenery. But Tampa Stadium, it's just amazing how well Google Earth did it, and still does it now. But uh, let's go ahead and pop in real quick to Microsoft Flight Sim. And we're on the runway now, runway one, Tampa International Airport. And let's try to recreate the exact same flight. I'm using a track IR system. And I'm flying in the Cessna 152 this time. Last time I was in a 172. But I think immediately the overall scenery is better pretty much everywhere in the new Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. But it is, I think, a little disappointing on this airport right here. Still good. Default buildings, you don't see the parking garage with the cars on top, but Overall, the Earth layout, definitely 2020 has a beat. But those warehouses that were down there, I think were better in the Google Earth version. No question, uh, Flight Sim 2020 is much more refined. And if you do look at the other video that I made, we're coming up on Yankee Stadium, uh, or the uh, baseball field down there. Oh, actually, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays training center. I think Yankees also do play there, though. That's HCC. And again, it's there, but the Google Earth version is the actual, the full HCC. Still very good. Did a great job with Tampa Stadium. See, I'm putting my flaps down. Oh, I think I put them up. And this is the Bucks training field. St. Joe's Hospital coming up here did a great job on that. It looks pretty much like that in real life. It's the IBM Plaza over there. I don't have the full front camera like I did in Google Earth, so I'm going to have to peek over the the hood here. So we're coming up on the Hillsborough River.
overall, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, absolutely incredible. Highly recommend it. Xbox Game Pass right now is a dollar, so you can pick it up for just a dollar. It's absolutely incredible. I've been flying all over California and Hawaii and Arizona, Washington State. It's just everywhere you go, it's just breathtaking. If you remember in the other video, I was saying how realistic the river was. If you haven't checked out that video, it's pretty interesting. You should really check it out. But this, the river, does look just amazing. Just amazing. I mean, hands down, it's got to be. 2020 is uh, incredible. Just incredible. So flying, I guess, in the cockpit, it's hard to really get the full scenery like I did before. But So that's Blake High School there on the right. And that looks pretty good. There's Eulalie right there. We see they did a pretty good job coming up on 275 here. We're going to try to make the same flight. Now, this is one thing where the Google Earth just, I think, kills it versus the 2020. Uh, coming into Tampa, the shadows, it's like it was set like maybe in the mapping when they did it. So everything is dark no matter what time of day it is, but these buildings to the right, like the Performing Arts Center there, the Stras, uh, yeah, it still has the, the photo on it. That's the photo that's on it right now outside the building. The Sykes building, yeah, it's, good. it's just dark. The Tampa Hotel right here. Let me see if I can get a a glimpse of it. There's, you know, it shows, yeah, it shows the towers on it. I think it was a little better in Google Earth, but that was the NBC building right there. Yeah, you can see the NBC logo, so that's uh, there. Right, install screen. There's the hospital. In the convention center, oh, up here. Harbor Island here. It seems like a much faster flight this time. The Wyndham Hotel. I mean, it, again, it's a it's a catch. There's there's so many things that were modeled better in Google Earth and. So many things that uh, Microsoft has. I mean, overall, the Microsoft has it. Please acknowledge. Uh, let me acknowledge this. Tampa Tower, Cessna, November one nine or six nine or frequency change. Okay. So, like, see those trees right there? How they're stretched out? Oh, they look kind of weird. Like, some of the trees don't look right, but it's uh, I, I, again, it's so funny. I watch so many videos and people just. Like that, like I just did, like pick it apart for these little things. Overall, it's just 100%. I mean, it's it's a must-buy. Even at the $59 price, it's a must-buy, I think. It's absolutely incredible. But again, Game Pass right now for a dollar. Unbeatable. This is Peter O'Neill Airport. And this is the one where I really have flown out a couple times. My dad used to keep a 172 there. So I've flown out there many times. Definitely good. Again, compare it to the, the Google Earth version. There's the Port of Tampa. Definitely looks good. It's co cool they have the piles of sand and everything over there. I'm flying right above stall speed, so if I crash, it's uh, going to be really bad. I shouldn't. But that is nice. They have the piles of sand and gravel, whatever they have over there. Okay, so like last time, we're going to try to fly around this and then get to the runway. I've been flying over Tampa and saw like my junior high, high school, HCC, 
all of these places that you can see the restaurants that you've gone to. I mean, every place is here in uh, Flight Sim, which is just mind blowing, really. I mean, the restaurants you go to, the parks you go to, baseball parks, everything is just, you can point it out from the sky. It's so crazy. Very, very cool, very worth the buy. Downtown Tampa. Where's the runway? Oh, I'm way off. Okay. Okay, 27 is a little runway here, but we should be able to make it. I'm coming in really hot. This was just really to show the video, not trying to land perfectly. Nah, not bad, not bad. Put the brakes on. Well, that was it. That was the recreation of the flight. Again, if you haven't checked it out, uh, you can look in the description or just go to iFlight Sim on the YouTube channel and find it. It's on there. Uh, pretty interesting. Definitely a good deal. I would check it out. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.